it, you know, they call it's called a race, but it's not really a race. It's like a, I don't know, a social event. <laughs> So here we are at Blanchard Springs, which is where the Silamo, three days of Silamo takes place. And the uh, first day is a 50K race, the second day is a 50 miler, and then the third day is a 20K. I came years ago, and then I've kind of come every year except years off to have kids. <laughs> Um, well, it's my birthday on Sunday, so I wanted to pick a birthday race like I do every year, and I had a friend from Chicago tell me that this had a really good community feel and the trail's really pretty. So the 50K is out on the Silla, maybe the Silamo mountain yeah. bike trails, yeah. um, and there's just a whole network of trails out there. I think they have over 50 miles of single track out there, so you're kind of skipping back and forth between the different color trails. Um, probably a little bit more runnable than yesterday's 50 miler. And then the 50 miler goes on the Sillamore Creek Trail for um, along the river, um, past Bark Shed, stay on the Sillamore Creek, and then you hop onto the Ozark Kylands Trail yeah. where it gets a little less um, use, <laughs> a little more bushwhacking. Um, but and that day, I think that the 50 mile course is so scenic just because you're on the river and you kind of get a little of everything out there. Um, and then the 20K today, which is more like 14 miles, you hop onto some of those bike trails again um, and you just make like a big lollipop loop and luckily finish with downhill. What do you think about doing the stage race versus just the 50 miler? Um, I think it's doable, definitely. Just yeah. train a little more and <laughs> we'll be in there. I gotta say though, personally, I'm really glad I am not running today. Yeah, oh yeah. This year, I was happy to do just the 50 miler. It seems like there are a lot of people who do the uh, whole stage race, though. Absolutely, yeah. And a lot of people seem to come back year after year for it, so i got to check it out next time. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it. Um, years and years ago, Steve um, was on Montreal, and I was on Montreal the same year, and he had um, offered up like two entries, and I was... I think I was in probably graduate school and no responsibility and thought, hey, I'll go to Arkansas and see what it's about. I was living in Southern California at the time and so I just came that one year and I camped over on the other campground there and um, I'm just, I kept coming back year after year. Hey, having lived through uh, three days at Silamo, experiencing it firsthand, I thought I'd share just a couple of real quick what to expect, what not to expect. First off, do not expect any cell coverage. It's out in the middle of Arkansas, there's not a lot there. But you should expect gorgeous, challenging, and very runnable trails. They're an absolute delight. As well as experienced runners and friendly support, one of the best things is home-cooked meals. So after the 50K and the 50 miler, they do some wonderful home-cooked meals right there at the shelter. Don't expect a lot in terms of swag. It's not a big race, it's much more of a social experience. You do get this wonderful little singlet and uh, a Silamo, three days of Silamo sock, which is very nice. Um, do expect to get lost. I think they take a little bit of pride in the fact of uh, making sure that the trails are not real well marked. There's not a lot of volunteers out there on splits. It would be so helpful if they just published the trail map, even just the week beforehand would be real helpful. Don't expect a lot of big finish line hoopla. There is a finish line and you do get a chance. But one of the things that's really nice is if you do the full stage race, and I think I'm gonna have to go back and do that, but if you do the full stage race and you go back, you get this cool little river rock painted with the Silamo Man on it. And when the race director hands it to you, he says, congratulations, you're a Silamo Man, or congratulations, you're a Silamo Woman. It's kind of a cool tradition.